today I'm going to show you how to make bootable car Linux USB Bridgestone pen drive with Bridgestone mode so let's get started uh, first you need to download uh, iOS of Linux iOS of Kali, uh, this is a Linux iOS file on official website this is the official website of Linux uh, you can see that this is the latest version which I am using to make a bootable USB pen drive so this is the latest version 2019.4 I already downloaded it so I am not downloading it but you can download it from there and we need some uh, apps uh, I will show you uh, some apps uh, like uh, you need some software uh, PWD 11 uh, it is a free uh, Bridgestone maker software and it is 32 32-bit 32 disk image uh, you need to download it from the website I will show I will put the link in the description you can download it from there so it is the ISO file of latest version you can see that uh, it is the ISO file of latest version 2019.4 and I already plugged in a pen drive so this is a pen drive I already formatted so you need to format it in 32 bit some people are formatted NTFF NTFS mode it is not working when you make a video pen drive you need to format it uh, that 32 and you need to have uh, at least 8 GB pen drive because uh, so I once again I am formatting uh, I already formatted and uh, let's open this first you need to open this software I already, I already installed it so, uh, yeah. so this is the bin 32 disk image uh, I uh, my pen drive already inserted in this uh, select uh, USB drive app you can see that um, and uh, you need to see the file here uh, I think uh, there it is uh, there is no showing uh, no item match because uh, just you need to click on that so you can see that the file was showing you need to open it and now it's left and click on right it's take some time it's not that time but it takes some time uh, in my case it takes some time guys uh, my it's depend on computer specification what is the cpu is not on the computer my specification is much higher so i think it almost take me 10 minutes so first i choose the video then like to do that when it's done Choose that video here and then it's done. I'll wait and show you. So you can see that guys, it's almost done. Uh, it takes a couple of seconds. Uh, in my case, it takes almost five minutes. Uh, right successfully. Uh, you can see the message on Windows 10 and Windows 7. Whatever I'm using operating system, please do not format it. Just cancel. Click on cancel and it shows not accessible. So just ignore that. But do not format it. So now close this application and open mini tool partition okay so just open mini tool partition like this and now click on launch application and so now so you can see here it is the unlocated Unlocated disk, it is on a pen drive and the 2.56 GB storage was full. It is a current next and it is a unlocated storage, which is almost 20. So, right click here and create. So, you can see that this is a WU partition. We cannot be using Windows because Windows do not use open ID. Okay, so ignore that message and just okay. And uh, you need to give the name of your partition, uh, uh, it's called Bridgestone. So, make sure you write right spelling. First, you need to file system select ext4 and uh, select primary. There are select logical, select primary, and then type name C C R S I S U N T. So you need to write the system and partition label and file system. Then do not click anymore, but just you need to click a file system and create as and partition label. Okay. So now click on OK. So now guys click on OK. Uh, please make sure, please double check that because there was created a 
problem Uh, if your specification is low, please close all other application before you do that. Okay. Okay. And now for making a QA partition, please uh, be patient. It's taking some time. So I close the video for now, and when it's almost done, so then I skip. Okay. So guys, you can see that in my case, it's done almost two minutes. It take fully. So it's depend on your pen drive how much GB you use pen drive. Uh, I use uh, almost 14 GB and it's need to make a 11.9 GB like space so it's take longer 2 minutes so let's close this app and uh, now reboot your system okay uh, my system was restarting I plugged in I plugged the pen drive in my computer and now press F9 okay guys press F9 okay now the Kali Linux if you're not pressing F9, it's not matter. It's already open. Okay. Uh, let me show you once again. Now click on Live System USB Persistence. Okay, guys. Live System USB Persistence. Hit enter. You don't need to press F9 if you doesn't want. But just plug in the pen drive and restart the system, and it's automatically open. Okay. There was a two ways, and uh, if you press F9, uh, I will show that in the next part of video so now system was starting linux was starting and uh, i like the logo okay now it's login then time come on hello guys i successfully booted pen drive in persistence mode uh, let's you can see that uh, you can see that uh, so now open terminal for making a persistence space in kali linux write a command F T I S K FedEx hyphen L okay and hit enter there was uh, there was you can see that the drives of it is your pen drive and there was a space which we have created in a mini tool software it is a HDV3 dev this is the name which we have using in later videos later part of your videos this videos so write a command M K f s dot e x t four okay hyphen l p e r s i s t e n c pristens name of your drive which have you which have been seen uh just copy that and paste here wait i need to huh and hit enter and uh, the liberty persistence space was created just uh, they ask a permission and just type y yes and hit enter then they automatic create a persistence space so now they successfully created a persistence space and write a second command e2 L A B E L uh, name of your drive D E V and persistence and hit enter first cross check all the commands and hit enter then they successfully created second persistence space and write a command M K D I R hyphen p slash m and t slash uh, give the name of your drive give the name of your instance space okay uh, whatever you want to uh, rename it and i give name iron drive okay you can do same as i i do but uh, whatever it's your choice hit enter and the name was save now type mount slash dev slash s stv 3 okay and now slash m and t slash uh, dry uh, 
iron drive write a name what you have been writing there okay just copy it and paste here hit enter does not exist why I think there was some problem with my code mount hd oh I just mistake here so please make sure hdb hdb3 I write it sbb3 so hit enter now it's successfully work now it's work and write a third command echo slash union slash mnt slash driver name of your space iron drive in my case it's iron drive and name of your pristens.config config hit enter and now it's created then write a third cup fourth command i give all command in the description you just copy and paste it in the right sequence okay and now unmount it hit enter okay now reboot the device hit enter so now you can see that my curl next was rebooted successfully rebooted and uh, now live usb pistons click on live usb pistons hit enter So now it's opening. Mm. It's almost open. Mm. So as you can see that it's open and we open in Pristens option. Now the Pristens option was not coming here. So it successfully save files and it successfully booted in Pristens. Now uh, let I let me check you. Uh, just create a folder I create some folder and hit enter now you can see that there was a folder and uh, I create document here also empty document hit enter so that's that's why we can see that uh, the file was saving or not when we restart the call next okay and uh, wait I just need to change wallpaper also so let's see the changes was save or not okay so first of all i change no no that is one not a uh, desktop and let i let me change background it's better okay so I changed the background now I reboot I reboot the system just open terminal just open terminal and type reboot and hit enter now the system was rebooting and I will tell you one thing if you click on F9 f9 i click on f9 and i go to boot manager just click on first option okay if you click on let me focus on first, just click on first option not do not click on usb hard drive say okay 
जस्ट क्लिक ऑन यू एस बी हार्ड ड्राइव यू ई एफ आई वन ऑप्शन ओके ओके देन हिट एंटर एंड प्रिस्टेंस लैपटॉप प्रिस्टेंस डिवाइस लाइव यू एस बी प्रिस्टेंट फोर्थ नंबर ऑप्शन हिट एंटर लेट्स सी द चेंजेस वर्ड्स नॉट सेव और नॉट ओके It was open. It depends on your system and your pen drive. I use Sandex pen drive. It's opening. My system is little bit slow, but this new update was very good. I like that update. It's fast and optimized, highly optimized. It is better than old version. I used two thousand nineteen point four version. so uh, i think it successfully booted so guys you can see that the changes was save and uh, there was no changes and the all we changed at the wallpaper and the new file it's save so as you can see that just uh, it's i think it's fine okay yeah all changes was save so hope you like the video and uh, please make sure to subscribe my channel and give a like and thumbs up to this video and share this video to all your friends thank you for watching have a nice day